note about following the instructions in our QTVLM cheat sheet about creating a basic routing in QTVLM. So we start out with our cheat sheet. I think if you just Google QTVLM CH cheat sheet, that should take you to it. Yep, that finds it. It's here, cheat sheet. And then under navigation, routing with isochrones, that's it. And these are the instructions we're going to follow. And there is an example. You can click here. And if you click here, you get an example about um, uh, the example we're going to do. Particularly, we're going to start at this point and route to this point. And you can, that's that. And we're going to start at this time right here. And we're going to use this grib file, which you can click this link. And that'll save this. Uh, it looks like I've already done it. Yeah, OK, I've already saved it there to my downloads. And so that's how you get the, that's how you get the grib file if you want to do the exact example we're doing off the coast of uh, French Guiana. OK, so that's, that's that information there. And I'll have to come back to that. And now here's our, here's our uh, QTVLM. And we're up in our training area region. Now for this work, we're going to a place we don't have charts and we don't need charts. So you can just shut the charts off, the vector charts off. And then uh, what we would do, where is that PDF? Oh, no, it's not a PDF. It's a window of this uh, browser. Uh, here, OK, there we go. So these are the two points we want. So I can, and again, this is sort of a trick. I can just say new mark, and then I'm going to call this uh, CSR, Cheat Sheet Routing Start, S-T-A-R-T. And this, this starting point is going to be at uh, 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 12.0 minus 57.0. So this is 12.0, uh, uh, and this is minus 57.0, and that's that. And then I can say, cheat. oh, wait, OK, back up there. OK, that's right. That's that point. Then I'll do a new mark, and this is going to be uh, cheat sheet routing finish, F-I-N-I-S-H. And where's the finish? Uh, 4.3 down by the tropics in the equator here, 4.3 minus 44.3. Okay, so this is 4.3 and uh, minus 44.5. Okay, that's that. That's okay. All right, so we've done that. So we put our two marks at the right spot. Now I'm doing Command-M. That would be Control-M on a Mac, on a PC. And I'll just hit this one and say Center on that. OK, so that should take us. Now, that was just a trick for getting here. OK, there we are. OK, there's the perspective where we are in the world. And we're going to route from here to here. And now, and then this, the instructions here in the cheat sheet are telling us to get the, get the, um, get the grib loaded. And that's what we're doing right now. So now I want to load that grib. So I would go to gribs, slot one, open. And then go, OK, I, mine's going to the D, uh, downloads. Uh, that's the one we want. And we say open. And then um, if yours did not, if you're, uh, well, no, we're actually looking here. So it would go here automatically. Right, OK. So that's now we're all set up and ready to do a routing between this point and this point. So now we go back to the cheat sheet and start following the instructions. So first it says menu, boat, boat settings. OK, up here, menu, boat, boat settings. And, when I'm, and then you can look at these screens and stop the video and double check to see that yours is, is uh, what we want, you know, the suggestions for what we want. And so what are we doing on that screen? We want to uh, check that the polar you want is loaded. Uh, now, oh, OK, wait just a minute. I've got to go to the Polar tab. OK, so there's the Polar tab over here. And uh, the Polar tab. And now I check, OK, this, one, this is the default Polar, Boat Classic 40. Uh, and then these, we're going to leave all like that. 
upwind is uh, that's on, upwind is automatic, automatic, and then that's everything. Um, now we go to the uh, uh, gusts tab. Uh, gu okay, wa wa waves, waves and gusts here. Click this one. And then what are we doing here? Waves and gusts. Uh, wave polar, none. Uh, apply steepness, none of that, none of that. This is default 145, 100. That's fine. This could be 30, 100. That's okay. Engine, and now we go to engine and tax. Engine and tax. We're just going over the various things that could one, one way or the other interfere with what we're doing. Um, now, uh, engine and tax. Um, let's see. Okay, we don't want the engine coming on at all here, so we're going to just put zero, zero for the for the when you turn on the engine and the no tax and jibes corrections. Now, later, obviously, you, uh, you have to fold in some penalty for every time you tack and jibe. You have to slow things down a little bit, but we're not doing that for now. Okay, uh, click OK, I guess, engine, oh, click OK, so we're, we're OK. Now we come back to uh, uh, menu configuration boat. Uh, menu configuration boat and what are we looking here on that one we want to see oh okay so the main thing we're looking at here is this crank duration five minutes the rest of this is more or less just how things display you know, the, this is a reckoning and so forth. Center on the boat at start. The main thing here, we're just checking, that's, that's five minutes. No, I think that the, the way that works is that's either got to be multiples of five, like five, 10, 15, but, or you can go to one minute for the uh, close-in routing. But we're not near land now. We're doing away from land. So this is going to be five minutes. That's important. It's five. Uh, specific length. Okay, that's just all uh, display issues on the boat. Uh, okay, click OK. Okay. All right, now what do we got? Now we're getting into the business here. Menu can, oh no, we still have a couple things to check. Menu configuration, gribs and harmonics. Menu configuration, gribs and harmonics. Uh, then what? Wait a minute. Um, where's my uh, Gribs menu configuration? The Grib tab. Okay, in the Grib tab. And what do I want in the Grib tab? Let me just see. Turn on Grib tab. Turn on Grib after download show sales. Okay, this again is not directly related to the routing, but uh, that is, these are all off, but I've turned on zoom on grib after download show sale docs off. Now, that's not directly related, but that's handy. Those, those are handy settings. Um, and I don't think there's anything here that interferes. Harmonics and weathers. Let's see, I don't think we even get into that. Uh, grib tab. No, click OK. We're done with that one. So now we've got uh, display tab, menu gribs, grib configuration. So let me go back here, menu gribs, grib configuration. That's that one. Now that is the same as clicking this windsock flag up here. This is an important for displaying what we're seeing. Uh, gribs, grib configuration. First we're looking at the we're looking at the, oh, that's interesting. Those don't show at the same time. Okay, so let's just say that we're going to all slots. Oh, turn on the slider. That's going to be handy. Turn on the grip slider. The rest of this, uh, grip and arrows. Look, I've got that. Well, you're seeing what that's like right there. If I change this, I just get a, less arrows. You know, something like that. Grib over charts. We're not doing charts, but still that's on there. And then uh, we've got a wind map in the background. That's what we're seeing. 
this color pattern is the various uh, strengths of the wind. And then we got the gradient. If you turn the gradients on, that kind of fuzzes that out. I tend to like it this way, but it doesn't matter. And then that we've got the wind arrow color black. We got the wind map in the background and the color is black. Okay, now you've got to go to the corrections and just be sure everything is off. Everything is off here. Okay, then close. That's that. Now are we ready to go? Now, menu, routing, create a routing. Yes, we're finally there. Menu, routing, create, create a routing. Okay, routing from the boat, no. Okay, well, let's give it a name. That's going to be cheat sheet routing. And I'm going to call it routing. That'll it, when it gets loaded as a route, it'll be called routing, but that'll remind us we, how we got there. Okay, cheat, cheat. Cheat sheet route. Okay, and this is another double check. We've got the right a polar. You could actually change the polar at this point. And, and you might want to. You could have special polars uh, for different conditions. But we're, this stock is this way. Now, routing from the boat, no. Routing from a pathway, no. We're going to start at the start, and we're going to finish at the finish. So that's a start and finish. Uh, keep starting time. Now, this is the time... To, now, you want to keep that starting time if, because if something doesn't work and you have to come back and check it, then you don't have to enter the time all the time. But if you look here at this, it tells us what time. And you can, in fact, copy this. Command, you know, copy this and actually paste it in here. Okay, but that works. This doesn't matter too much. Automatic print, yes, put that automatic and move that clear to the right for now and turn that convert on. Okay, now we go to options, and I'm sure this tells us not to do anything here. Options. Well, you can't, you cannot change these top ones once you've chose automatic on the previous page. But here, use the very best VMG. That's best VMC, sort of between isochrones. Avoid that. Uh, well, here, you know, I don't think it's. I think you can just turn everything. It, it, this this is one that you we might consider sometime later on, but I don't think it interferes now. For here, you just turn all of those on. What actually? What's this say here? This is the options tab. Leave 24. Turn on that. Turn. Well, I had these turned off, but turn off maximum distance and color. Okay, I had that turned off. And what what's the other one that turned off? Max. Okay, I had these others turned off here. Uh, we want to avoid the land, but we're not anywhere near land. I don't know what that does. We can turn that off. Okay, so, but you could either turn those off. I don't think those matter, but I would, uh, you could probably just turn them. I just, I'm going to change them. I'll change that right up and say just turn all those on. Okay, and we're not doing multiple routing. Advanced setting, it says leave that all as default. So you read that on and that's on. So now, I think that means we're ready to go. Now we're ready to go. And hopefully this creates a route. So you say now, okay. And then, okay, so there it goes. That's working. It's creating, it's creating a, it's doing the isochrone computation um, as uh, instructed there. Uh, oh, it looks like it's tacking some down at the bottom. Okay, and this says it took, uh, it took uh, arrival in four days, four hours and 20 minutes. And uh, that's that. Now, later, when, okay, and then after you do that, just we're going to uh, we're going to simply, he, uh, the, the QTVLM has a way that goes beyond just the isochrones and does some optimization and simplification. And so here you just choose uh, from the routing start, you're going to simplify it, you're going to optimum simplify, it. and then that's it, go. And this takes just a minute, and it's, it's not going to, for this route, it's not going to change things very much, and so, but you just have to sit here, and this takes a couple seconds. A couple steps. It, it may tr say uh, trim off five minutes or so from the routes, but and so you do that. That takes that, and then then you hit optimize, and then it's going to optimize this route, and it's going to move it and and store it as a uh, 
stored as a route. And then I'll post into the uh, into that routing practice sheet. Okay, so there it did it. And then see, once you have this route here, then you can right click it and edit the route. And when you come up here, you can see the log book and you can look at that various ways. That's not the subject at hand right now. There's all sorts of fancy things we can see about this route once we're done. But the exercise now is just to do that. Then we come back later. Then we come back later and uh, look at more of the details. And also, the next thing I'll do is add currents add some ocean currents and that explains this time of life which is early you no know, what yeah, Feb oh it's valentine's day valentine's day in january uh, 2024 when i looked at the whole world this is the only place where i could find a notable ocean eddy that to navigate around in a way that uh, we might have to and that's why we're down in this strange place and the next step will add current and show about navigating with currents or uh, okay so i'm gonna stop there